So it says moral nihilism or or moral realism. That's kind of the really the uh, the uh, positions that the non Christian can take. Right, the so called religious nuns, he says, have basically just these two paths to tread for grounding morals. The most obvious route, he tells us, is uh, Nietzsche's moral nihilism. Any objective morals and obligations don't exist. Mm-hmm. There is no morality. They are denied altogether. Right? We have a full-blown here, he says, moral subjectivism. No moral choice is to be preferred over another. In other words, there is no discernible uh, ground for morality. Right. right? And so he talks here, he gives us an illustration from the notorious serial killer Ted Bundy. And he kind of clearly expresses the logic of embracing this particular Which, view. We right? covered ex- exactly this quote uh, in in um, Mitch Stokes' uh, How to Be an Atheist, where, mm. when he kind of brought this factor up, too. Um, here's a little bit of, of what uh, Ten Bunny has said. Why should I be willing to sacrifice more pleasure from one than from the other? Surely you would not, in the scientific enlightenment, declare God or nature mark some pleasure as moral or good or others as immoral or bad. In any case, let me assure you, my dear young lady, that there is absolutely no comparison between the pleasure I take in eating ham and the pleasure I anticipate raping and murdering you. That is the honest conclusion to what my education has led me after the most conscientious examination of my spontaneous and uninhibited self. Wow. And that's all that's left to, to people without yeah. this type of standard. It's whatever I think. Yeah. Why not? Whatever, yeah. 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 It's Yeah. I create well, it. Well, because yeah, he's in jail. Well, that just yeah. tells me that you can hold somebody. That doesn't right. tell me that their ideas are, are <laughs> wrong or right. Yeah. It, 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 if he takes us to a full on conclusion and eats everybody, <laughs> we might have an issue at some point, but uh, that's just when for a continuation us, right? of species, but <laughs> yeah. species have stopped continuing. We, I mean, we, we hunted animals to extinction. The, you know, the bison is, is pretty much extinct. The dodo bird is, is only in, in museums right. as, as uh, you know, carvings. So uh, at, there, there's some remedy between uh, animals and humans that we find fault with at some yeah, point. So, so notice we can say we don't like what he does, Yeah, but, uh, who does he have obligations to if there's no God, right? Why would he have obligations to people to, to, to do anything mm-hmm. toward us, right? He can do whatever he wants to do. Now, again, we may not like it, yeah. but that so what, right? I, we don't like chocolate ice cream, right? We don't like a <laughs> lot of things, chocolate right? Chocolate ice cream, people <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> right? But uh, so that doesn't make, just because we don't like something doesn't necessarily, is what we see here, make something yeah. evil or good or whatever, right? Pineapple on pizza. <laughs> if you don't have a, you know, a universal standard that's set up by a person who is, who is judged, then you can be your own mm-hmm. and whatever you say goes. Right. And what can we say against that other than we don't like that? Yeah. I right. prefer you not to. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So the vast majority of self-conscious, non-Christian, non-theistic thinkers obviously would be appalled by the, uh, you know, the arguments for moral nihilism that uh, Bundy makes, right? Uh, few people, no matter how opposed they are to biblical morality, would affirm that Ted Bundy or, for instance, Jeffrey Dahmer's actions are morally incomprehensible. So notice, we're not saying that unbelievers can't know what is morally right or wrong and can't be what is do what is morally right or wrong right we're clearly you know the vast majority of the people would say this man what he's done right. is wrong in fact is evil right uh that so we're not saying that that's that's uh you know the position of the unbeliever right that um um that they can't do or know um evil or good Right. But <laughs> by what standard? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> by what standard are you able to call something good or evil? Uh, and why does that does that uh, sense that you have or that knowledge that you have? Why is it opposed to me? Like even say that, oh, this this is the, the biggest human flourishing. Why should I care about human flourishing? OK, sure. Maybe it affects uh, affects me. I, I might live a 10 a, percent a better life, but I just don't want to. Yeah. So why? Why should I do anything at all? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so most of them then kind of reject this nihilism that you know that uh, Nietzsche has, uh, you know, kind of helped us to understand that it seems like atheism uh, is has to be associated yeah. with, right? Yeah, and a lot of people find 
good solace in uh, you know Nietzsche and 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 especially in college when you first learn about it in the the Ubermenchers and you know the <laughs> the, 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 the 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 might of the will and so th- th- there you all, all all that you have left is not good evil it's the the might of the person to drive drive that forward you know the Alexander the greats of, of our the time Superman yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, the, the and, and, you know, even within Superman, he, he, he had uh, his jor crystal telling him, you shall be, be a God as, <laughs> as among them. And then you had, and you needed Jonathan Kent to, to hone him in and uh, adopt him and say, no, you're also human, even though you come as an alien person, yeah. you're yeah. still my son. So right. it, it's, uh, it's just neat to see that. So I had right. to get my nerdy bit in there so that this is mine and so what what we need to see here is that uh christensen is saying that most philosophers uh even unbelieving philosophers reject this kind of uh nihilism that uh that we see here yeah right? but it seems to be they reject it because they don't want it to be rather yeah. than yeah. rather than it's a it's a it's it's more in line with the other one we, we know that's just society talking because society drives everything then. We just have societal standards. 